So, hello, this is Mr. Dragonfire, and hopefully this will be the last video I have to make, because I just ran out of space on my iPhone, it's 32 gig as well, <laughs> mint. Um, right, so anyway, here, I have to excuse the low light, and I'm using a keyring torch. Uh, this is my Canon 600D, my camera, and I've got my optical lens on there, which is a mirror lens, and that is... Um, 800 uh, millimeters, and then you've got um, a two times converter, which says there, two times converter, so it's 1600 are operating at. Just try and see if I can get in the mirror for you so you can see it. There you can see the mirror lens there, and it does go all the way in if you can see in there. Um, anyway, and the flippy out screen, and as you can see, oh, it's weird. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have shone the torch in there. <laughs> so, anyway. That might be a reflection. Um, you see the moon up there. What I'm doing is I'm zooming in on this moon um, with my camera. And then you can see it there, looking quite pretty. But I've noticed something, and I want to share it. If you zoom in on my camera, like so, so we're zoomed in five times, and then I focus with my iPhone on that. Can you see that? I'm trying to hold my camera as still as possible here, so... That is the moon, or the Earth, moving. If you look at the square box, you can see clearly that the moon is moving. In fact, I just want to quickly take a shot. I'm using a wireless remote control here on the camera. It is a little bit blurry, but still, I'll clean that up better. Yeah, so if I zoom back in, you can see the uh, the edge of the moon. Let's focus on that. And you can see there, clearly, that it is moving. Or we are moving. But either way, I personally have never seen the moon move. So I hope this is a first for you. And the pictures will follow, and they'll be on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash dragonfirephotography. You can see the moon's gone now. Just try and focus it back on there for you. And also my website, which is mrdragonfire.com. The links will be in the lower part of this, uh, well, below the video. And I do apologise about the uh, this here. I mean, I should have really recorded this with HD cam. But uh, obviously I'm zoomed in optically on the, uh, no, digitally, sorry, on the Canon screen. So that blurs it a bit. And again, I do apologise about my uh, hand moving. And there you go, you see it's moving. And that's the moon gone. And it's not me touching the camera stand or the tripod, because if you do, I'll just focus back on the moon. Right, so... The, it's hard to do this. So I'll do that there. That is so cool. Um, if I touch the camera's tripod, that's me touching it with my index finger. Just gently tapping it. So you can see how sensitive it is. There's absolutely no way I can uh, move it as slow as that. I'll zoom back out. There you go, and the moon. And what I'll do is I'll take a picture now. There you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the moon. Zoomed in at 1600 magnification. On the Canon 600D, 2 times magnifier, 800 millimeter mirror lens. You can see, I mean, compare, look at the focus box in the middle of the uh, screen. That's where my I tell the camera to focus. And you can see the distance between the edge of the moon and that box is getting smaller. Anyway, this video has gone on five minutes, so I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, feel free to check out my website and like my Facebook page. I don't need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or anything like that. 
but uh, it would be nice if you could like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy snapping. Bye-bye.